Welcome to ITC, the podcast where we talk about stuff. <laughs> it's sticking. <laughs> it's it's sticking. Lots of stuff. Right? Yes. Boy, I'm full. I am too. My stomach's still gurgling. You know when when you're so hungry, like you're starving, and you then you eat, and I even overeat. Maybe I ate fast, and your stomach's processing and it's gurgling. That's the only word. Fast enough. Yeah, so it's like yeah, something like that. But it was good pizza. Mm. Pizza's always a winner. Pizza's always a winner. pies and pints. How was your day, sir? It was good. It was a it was a Wednesday. Of a Wednesday. Fairly busy. Lots of phone action. Ooh, love the phone yeah. action. Yeah. Great. But here we are. Here we are. I was gonna share something on that I that I saw on TikTok. Last podcast we did, I shared something I found on TikTok. Right, TikTok podcast. And I t- I've been talking lately how TikTok has made me tear up and cry, some in right. good ways, some in bad ways. Yeah. This clip I want to play for you made me tear up in a good way. This lady on TikTok is probably, I don't know if she says her age in this TikTok or not, but she's older. I'd say high 70s, maybe even lower 80s, mm. um, if, I, if I had to guess. And she's on TikTok, and she has great little videos. They're always of her talking. And she always starts the video with, I was going to tell you something. <laughs> it's so cute. Well, anyway, this, this younger girl, like I'm talking... I'd say young 20s. I guess she's a nurse. She duetted her. And it's just the duet is just her listening to this lady tell this story. Right. And she said, you know, she, as a nurse, I hope all my patients see this. What she say? See it this way. Beautifully delivered. So it's her listening to her and she gets kind of emotional too. And this is a 20 something year old girl listening to a upper 70 something lady talk about an issue and, I want to play it for you. Just bear with it. It's really good. It is cute. And it makes you like stop and think, I feel like, like mm-hmm. to think of things in a different perspective. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. So hold on. I, and I haven't played this for Jeff because I wanted to get his genuine no, reaction. I, have no idea I wanted to get your genuine reaction. So I'm going to hold on. See if I can turn it up and then I'll play it for you. This lady, I wish you could see her. She's just, she's just adorable. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I lost it. Hold on. I was going to tell you something. Here's how I think it'll be. Uh, so it'll be very young to the very old like me. I'll hear some quiet laughter and some of them will be talking to each other. And suddenly, the bus comes to an abrupt stop. The bus driver will stand up. He'll say, this is the end of the route. You must depart the bus. Please do so in an orderly fashion. But nobody's pushing and shoving because we know we've got eternity. Then I reach out, get my steady legs under me, get in the aisle, walk to the front of the bus. I start to step off wondering who's going to meet me there. I step off the bus and I immediately see him. He's got his Levi's on, rolled up a hill, got a white T-shirt on, he's got those signature yellow socks on and his penny loafers. I know him anywhere. But what astounds me is when I step off that bus, my old lady print dress, my orthopedic shoes, they suddenly turn into a poodle skirt, the saddle oxfords and bobby socks, and my hair's tied up in a ponytail. And I fall into his arms because I'm home. That's the way I see it. I'm crying again. Is it the Fonz? Fonzie? Oh, God, you just ruined the moment. No, it's about her husband. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I'm kidding. I know. It was, I, know I literally it was have husband. tears coming out of my eyes. You do, you're crying. It, it, I am. It touches me because that's just so sweet. That I, is extremely sweet. I think it is. It is sweet. Because people don't think about, I mean, whatever you believe that or not, just no. hearing, just hearing that, just hearing her tell the story that way, like... I've never thought of it that way. No, that's like she cool. She paints this picture of like being home with the man she loved and like what do you I don't know. It touched it 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 touched me in a, a certain type of way. That is cool. I love that. I do too. Cuz it is home. It becomes home. Right. And when I mean you spend uh, your entire life with someone. 
Well, and that she... <laughs> and then they're gone, and you don't even know it was home, maybe, for right. some people. And then just with her thinking that way, it probably comforts her because she didn't say how old she was, but she's elderly. I don't know if she's healthy or not. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, you know, obviously, the older you get, time is going to end up catching you before, unless something else does first. And, you know, no matter what you think about your eternity, whether you think there is an eternity or whether you believe in reincarnate, whatever it is, just the way she paints her picture. Right to me is beautiful because usually the elderly I feel like that I've witnessed kind of are down and out in this time and like oh gosh I might be gone soon you know what I mean right. like so I just thought it was a beautiful and even like the nurse that nurse she had said I ho- I wish all my patients felt like this so she probably experiences that way of people thinking you know uh, it's kind of morbid to talk about but the end of your life differently yeah it's interesting. So anyway, I, I want to. But it's a very that, but. yeah, it's very touching. So obviously, it's you very know, sweet. To I can't believe you ruined the moment by saying the fonts. You would. It just it, that's a good description. Well, for, I mean, it is. Except the leather jacket. I don't think she said that. I don't know. I can't remember if she said the leather jacket. It is, but I'm sorry. I do that all the time. You do. Someday when I'm dead, you might miss it, and that's what will happen. Miss you'll you be like, step off the over. bus. You'll be like, I was. At home, because he immediately made fun of the three people in front of me <laughs> that got off the that's bus. That's right. Be like, yep, that guy making fun of everybody. That's that's him. That's him. He yeah, showed up for me. I missed it me. so much. <laughs> and I mean, I really don't think it's going to obviously be, you know, you're not on a bus. You're not getting off. And I don't know that you're going to even see. Yeah, but it's a good picture. It's a painted that way. And you know what, though? That's a funny thing I heard somebody talking about on a podcast was about we're painted a picture which the he was like i don't even like that picture i want streets of gold i don't want he's like that's stupid too because <laughs> if everything was streets of gold then it wouldn't be worth anything because the only reason gold's worth something is because you can't get it well but i mean i don't think if, if, if it's we're talking analogy. about heaven it's in that sense literal. i don't think the streets are literally made of gold no and if they were why would not, you even need streets well i don't know i don't know i don't know i've never really thought into it's it just the so you think that the that whole analogy of the way they paint heaven is is just an analogy? Like an yes, absolutely. How, well, so what do you think heaven is like? I have no clue. I haven't. I just so know, you know that I'll be like in a that? spirit with my the my loved ones, and I'll never experience pain again. That's the way I see it. It's another dimension, pretty much. So you don't. I mean, I don't think that we can. I think that's just human nature is to put physical things from here into heaven when I don't think it's going to have anything like what we think it is because we can't even freaking comprehend what it'll be. Do you think that it's just going to be spirits floating around? I don't know if they're going to be floating. I don't know how it's going to be. I have no clue. I just think that we have no idea. We are not capable of comprehending what we don't know because we've never been is like. Right. But people who wrote it, they don't know either. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and that's what they talked about in that. And it was, religion was formed, that's the base. It was formed way before science, right? It's been around so much longer because that's how pe- tribes, people, in um, early days, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, they had to come up with something to comfort themselves right? in death. And so they came up with gods and they came up with heaven and they came up with afterlife. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that they could cope with, they're going to see somebody again. It, I looked it up, uh, and it's, I said, what will heaven look like? And it does. It says, John calls it the holy city with, street, with gold streets, jeweled walls, and a river flowing through it. God's throne and lamb, who is Jesus Christ, are center to the new, in the new Jerusalem, which is part of the new heavens and new earth, whatever. But I, 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 what, how, do we, how did he know that? I don't believe him. Oh, you're going to go against John? No, I think he's just, maybe it's, a lot of stuff's not, fa- you know, it's not like, unless you're extremely literal, but I think that's silly. Um, it didn't even sound a jeweled wall. Yeah. With like modern day jewels. Like, like you, you know, just grab like you one and jeweled. smoke it. So, but, see that to me sounds like somebody trying to sell something, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not uh, dissing the Bible or anything because I totally believe in it. I totally believe in it, but I think some things are written to sensationalize. Right. 
Or maybe in the day, that's what sensationalized people and got them. Just like I learned recently, like, and I wish I should do it. I should do, we should have Pastor Jamie on the podcast. That dude is smart. Okay. Maybe he'll know what heaven looks like. But he broke down revelations for me. Not anything what I thought. It it's totally has this zero meaning what we were taught bringing up. Really? Biblically. Yeah, he's like, it's, they, altar calls. He told me the whole history of altar calls. They were made up to draw people into membership. Wow. In the late 1800s. They never, there was nobody, because you, you don't, if you're going to an altar because a pastor asks you to, you can't, that's not how Christ is received. Christ is received when you just uh, open your heart and believe. Well, yeah. You don't have to go and get on your knees. Well, and I think we all, I mean, I, we all know that. I didn't know that growing up. I thought I had to be in front of popular. So front you're of saying everybody. your grandpa was wrong? It may be in that way, but he didn't know. Well, I mean, I think he's a smart I don't think man. he was wrong. I, think that, I don't think he did anything yeah, wrong. Is, I'm not I, saying it's wrong to have people. I'm just saying. But I, but what I'm saying is how, how do you know that he's right? He had a really good explanation. How do you know that he, I'm not saying he's not right. It's like right. stuff's really I am not biblically, biblically based. Yeah, it, it but was so like is your grandpa. Yeah, I know. I'm not busting on my grandpa. I'd never would. He's my favorite person ever. I know, but I'm just saying, like, all of a sudden, just because one person says it, you, you believe what they say. I'm just saying it's a great conversation. It is a good conversation. I'm, my mind's open to anything. I just, it made complete sense. Okay, but a lot of things, it's, a lot of things make sense that aren't true. Really? Well, yeah, I'm trying to think of an example. But, I mean, I, I need to think of an example. Well, I'm just saying I wish that's why I want him on here because he, he can explain things so well. He's not saying that there's anything wrong with no, it. No, I, I, I'm not saying that he, he is, but say I'm just saying why are you all of a sudden not believing wrong. what we've been taught all of our, all, and I'm not saying that's, but that's right. that's the thing is but we all fall Because one into person a, says, I'm not, that's not, I'm, I'm not confused. Believing. Yeah, I, I believe more and I always, and I have for the longest time before I ever talked to him, that that's not how you receive Christ. You can, but that's not how I, growing up, I, I had to do this public spectacle to yeah. actually be saved. That's, I would ne- if, if that's the case, then our kids are in trouble. So you have to, you're still not ready to go to heaven because you haven't gone in front of a congregation. Right. And got on your knees. And no, I don't think it has to be that's like that either. But I'm just, I don't know. I just, I, it just shot me when you said that. He said that, so now, boom, you you think differently. I was confused. Sorry. No, but I would love to have had him on the podcast. Not that I'm... No, nothing... I I'm not big in talking about religion on the podcast because I just not, but since we're on the topic. Right. Since the lady talked about the Bible. My mind's open to everything, I mean, when it comes to the Bible, because I know where my belief is, and it's basically in God and... Yeah. Just like... It's up to it's up to him. He's powerful. He's all knowing. And it just like growing up with it being like a body count, you know, you guys help save people. Like you gotta save people. Like you gotta right. get your, your, your Christian body count going. Well that's right? that's when you're And that's silly to me because you know what? All God calls us to do is love and uh, be faithful. That's that's, that's when all. you're dealing with your the the religion versus being exactly. spiritual, which we talked about not that long ago. But um no, I would like to have a have somebody like him on the podcast to talk about Maybe he'll give us some ideas what heaven really looks like. I don't know. And that's if you believe in heaven. There's a lot of people who don't. Oh, there's a ton of people that don't. Reincarnation, which fascinates me. It's fascinating. I don't know much about it. Do people really think they're going to come back as an animal? Uh, or yeah, in some cultures. Or were we once somebody else? Like, was I somebody else in my former life? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Pe- people believe that. Like, what historical figure was I? I hope I was somebody cool if I believed in that, which I don't, but I'm just saying Probably if I were. did, who would I be? It'd have um, to be how long ago. How long does it take to get reincar- how to reincarnate? I have no idea. I'm definitely not an expert on reincarnation. <laughs> Me either. Re- reincarnation, I have no clue. I'd like to find somebody with reincarnation skills that could be on the podcast just like you need to get... Look at you catching the I'm bug. sorry. I'm so tired. You need to get your girl to do the, like, what is it? I, I know. The um, the spirit person? Yeah, she's not coming to the house. Yeah, yet. let's have her over. No, she's not bringing that juju it's in the here. It's a whole, what are they? No. Some Ouija board? No, mate, sir. I, no. We will have her on the podcast, but that is one we will do off-site on location somewhere. I don't know where, 
But wherever it is, that's where all that stuff's staying. I had a hard enough time that Nate and his friends went to the cemetery to make a music video the other day. He needs to wash it off. All the people there are dead. He needs to wash it off. You can bring spirits back. No. I learned, yes, I learned from my, a, a friend that when you go into a graveyard, you're supposed to leave a, a, um, an offering, like pennies or something. That's I, that's freaking superstition. I, I, what, it, that's if it superstition. protects me from the spirits and the that's, juju, no. then I'm going to do it. Yeah, and then you, you're supposed to sage yourself when you come back home. That's nuts. That's another religion. Uh, you want to tell her she's nuts then? Yes. That's not a religion. That's a spi- that's spiritual. When you start, when you start b- b- freaking stringing, what are they? Um, sage. No, Burning sage? No, 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 no. Not traditions, but now you have these steps you have to follow. Rituals. Rituals. Then it's a, you're, tr- you're, you're starting to get mm, into religious I you in that one. stuff. Like you're starting to be like, okay, for me to... It's mind there, shit. There's even certain soap you wash in when you come home. That's crazy. You want to tell her she's crazy? Crazy. I'll call her right now. Listen, she would, I know who it is, and she would be fine with me calling her. Oh, crazy. she would. She would. She'd please blow I would be like, I'm sorry. I love you. I, I, we should have her on the podcast but to talk about it. This is interesting, Again, and I think location. it's cool, but I mean. I don't know. We've had this discussion before, though. You, whatever don't, believe, works, you don't believe in stuff like whatever that. Whatever works for you, but it's just for your brain. That's it's not because it really works. It all started because you wanted to do a TikTok live in the cemetery, and I'm like, no, that's inappropriate. It's, it's not w- really inappropriate. They're 100% all 100% inappropriate. They're dead. We're you not respect, doing it. That's wrong. You do not do that in a cemetery. You don't You do not do... Vi- like, I had a hard enough time with him making it. He said he was making a music video. But it was at the dirt part where they're building new, so it's. I don't uh, really feel like that was really the cemetery. Yeah, they're not, they're not dead people there yet. No. He was close enough. But you know what I mean? Like, there's a respect for the spirits that are there, or whatever's left there. For the remains? Yeah. Or whatever. I think there's spirits there. I do. We, we don't believe the same in that way, and that's okay. True. I'm yeah. not going to force you to believe my way the right way. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. slip that in there. <laughs> no, I get it's not it about right that. or wrong. It's no, just it's about not. what people believe. No, I, that's, right? I, I, I mean, totally agree with that. I was joking. Like, yeah. there's plenty of people who don't believe that way, but there's plenty right. of people who do. Um, but yeah, I want to have her on the podcast too because I, it interests me. But I'm afraid of what she might tell me. And we cannot do it. That's at the house. how people control you. Well, I'm easily controlled, apparently. Just scary. Have boundary issues. It's the way it works. You just it's, scare it, people. It's not even about being scared. It is. It's fear. Well, it's I fear mean, that yeah. if your kid goes in there, you can bring back. That's yeah, a fear that you can bring back. You got to bathe with this. I just this. don't want to deal with Some it. Some joker is like, let's see if we can get these idiots to freaking bathe with a different soap because we'll just tell them that if they don't. No. I've never bathed with different soap and I've been in cemeteries all my life. Well, I have too, but I'm just saying. I don't know. Maybe that's some of my bad luck. Maybe I've had some bad luck because I went into cemetery and didn't leave pennies. Which I think it's my pennies. grandfather that I go visit the cemetery, he'd be mad if I left pennies because he's like, you always pick up change. <laughs> See change on the street, grab it. That's funny. No, I mean, I am. I'm yawning. <sighs> that's bad. You're, I'm the one you're, yawning. You're I'm yawning so tonight. It's making me want to yawn. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know why. It's crazy. Anyway, um. No, I mean, I believe in stuff like that. And I, I will, uh, listen, participating in leaving the offerings and burning the sage and is not hurting anything. Better safe than sorry is what I say. Do they do they tell you to do that? To burn sage, do three cartwheels, spin around four times, no, touch no, no, your no, nose, no, no, rub you your belly not, at the same time? It's out of order. It's out of order. It's out of order. Oh, okay. I think it was like four cartwheels and spin around four three cartwheels. times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I mean, I respect people who in their beliefs and in listen. Oh, I love talking again, about better beliefs. safe than sorry. It's fun. I I never heard any of that stuff before, but sounds like some they got me yawning. Sounds like some um New Orleans juju going on. You were going to say witchcraft. Same thing. Witchcraft, Juju. They got that it's stuff not. going on down there. She's not in witchcraft. It's totally different. I think Jesus would say I'll, I'll <gasps> I otherwise. think I saw a real live witch <laughs> the other day. 
Really? I'm not joking. I was at Walmart and I think I said out loud when I was, yes, our water bottles are shaped different. It's weird. Um, I think I even said out loud I was by myself and I walked by her and I said, that was a real live witch. I'm not lying. I'm convinced. I, you could not convince me otherwise. She was dressed in this weird outfit, mostly black. Her hair was stringy. It is It is October. She, no, it, but it wasn't. She didn't have a costume on. This is where I'm convinced how she dresses every day. And she had that look about her. It's like she did have this look about her. And she, when I walked by her, I felt this vibe jump off. Like I feel things. I tell you I feel things when I walk by certain people and things. Not You're very often. Not very often. Not very often. But that's Stone and Thomas building downtown. There's Creepy. stuff that goes on in there on a daily basis. Promise you. If you don't feel it when you walk by, you don't have a soul. <laughs> wow. I want to call some man Charles. Something. I feel a certain type of way when I walk by there. I don't walk by there anymore, by the way. I don't have to go check the mail, the P.O. box anymore. But when I walked by this lady, I felt like a... <sighs> she sucked your soul out because you don't sage enough. <sighs> it was like that. I was like, ooh. She gave me a certain vibe. And I don't get those vibes. When do I get a vibe about people? Not very often. Not very often. It's not like I'm crazy and I walk around I'm like, ooh, they gave me a vibe. Or ooh, this place gave me a vibe. But I do get vibes sometimes. Just like I get a vibe from, oh, dear Lord, I hope she never gets a hold of this podcast. She will kill me. Hmm. Uh, there's this, cool. like, I'm going to tell a story. I don't think I told the story. Y'all, if I repeat my stories, I apologize. You can just fast forward a little bit if you've heard this story, but I don't think I did. Anyway, well, I work in this building downtown. It's a law firm, and inside of this, there's four floors. The last floor is our floor. We have nothing to do with the other law firms, okay? Anyway, there's a girl that works in the main section. Like, the right when you walk in, there's a main receptionist for the other law firm. Well, when she goes to lunch, this other little girl has to sit there. So, like, I think she's their file clerk or something. She's very young. And, and she has either killed somebody and is hiding a body somewhere or she's planning to because she creeps me the creep out. She always, okay, she's very frail looking. Let me paint the picture. Darker hair, um, not, it's like shoulder length hair, glasses, darker glasses, very, very tiny and frail and very soft spoken and she reads a book. She sounds mysterious. And she, when you walk in the door, there's a, like a ding dong. So she looks up and she doesn't have any emotion on her face. Mm -hmm. The first thing she ever said to me, and I wish you could see me right now, because she looks up from her book and she's like, as monotone as possible, I like your tattoos. And then looks back down. I'm like, oh my gosh. I said, thanks. And she said, she looked up and gave me the side eye. She was like, what do they mean? Just like that. Instead of saying, oh, I like your tattoos. Do they mean anything? You know, like a fluctuation in your voice. What do they mean? And I'm like, nothing at all. Hmm. Really? Some of them do. But the one she was talking about was my half sleeve. Then she goes, she looks back down her book and she looks up. She goes, are you going to finish the sleeve? Like she's not going to be pissed if I say no. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I just, I'm done with just have, just have. Oh, and now you're on the elevator. Well, today I walk in, same book, I think. And she's like fiddling with the pages, like in, in a nervous type of way. And she looks up and she goes, I like your shirt. And I was like, thanks. And I think I said something awkward. Like, I love green. <laughs> I, I feel awkward. I don't I know what to do. Because I, I had on a green shirt with these like white little flowers and she owns black you. accents. Yeah, I think she, she owns does. You. I think I might be her victim. She probably has one of those, you know, those big white like posters in her room with like the strings that connect people to connect people to connect people to things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm probably she sounds cute. I'm probably on that board for some reason. Somebody has sent her for me. I'm convinced. Hmm. She came down the steps Just today. Just wait until she hears this. Normally. So I'm going to come in there with a beautiful girl. No, don't. The girls up here podcast. She, no, but she, I think she just reads. She probably doesn't listen to things. She just reads. <laughs> she. can send you a transcript. <laughs> Today, I go down the steps because I think I've said before, I don't take the elevator, especially in the evenings, because if you don't leave early enough or late enough, you'll get on the elevator and it stops on every floor and all these ladies get on. And then you're on an elevator with all these women. 
and I'm afraid of the elevators anyway, and I do not want to be stuck on an elevator with anybody, let alone these people. Um, I said that so rude, but you know what I mean, like a bunch you of people. You did, yeah. Well, anyway, normally I'm down the steps, you not the just door. Said people that are below me. No, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. They don't. They're not very nice. They're not right, nice. Right. But anyway, normally I'm down the steps and out the door before really, any I see anybody. Okay, I don't usually pass it. Well, today. I walked on the steps and I had to wait for the other two new girls that work in our office because they don't have keys. And if the door's already locked when you leave, you have to lock it behind you. So right. I knew they didn't have keys. I was like waiting to be nice. The girl walks down the steps and just shows up. And I didn't know what to do. I'm a little bit scared of her. Really? I could snap her in two, but I think her powers would stop me. She's got something. Her powers I really, would stop I really want you to come in one day and oh see her. Oh my gosh. Like I, I really want you to. But yeah, and she, I was like, oh, she didn't say anything to me. She just looked at me, but she startled me. And then we were both standing there awkwardly. I didn't know what to do. She's strange. She sounds I don't know what her, I'm gonna get her intriguing. Name. I'm going to get her name tomorrow so I can call her somebody. You should. I'm going to get her name. Yeah, you should get her name. She looks Start like there. a, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea, but you she's... you got to get her name. I'm going to get her name. I'll get it tomorrow when I come back from lunch. She'll, just, she'll say something awkward to me. And you know what? I'm probably wrong. I just like to make up stories about people. She's probably a sweet little girl who's very intimidated by everybody. She seems timid, but yet powerful. Ooh, I like it. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. Like, she's very timid, but I think she can do things with her mind. Oh, I mean, she's something. She's something. She sounds like something. She sounds intriguing. Well, you could be the judge. I would like to meet this person just to, just to have a I'm conversation. I'm going to friend her and get her name, and then one day I'm going to take a selfie with her. That would be cool. That would be so awkward. For you to ask for a selfie? Well, yeah. Oh, that would be so weird. I could tell her I'm doing a scavenger hunt. And one, you know how you can do those scavenger hunts? Remember when we were in church camp? Yes. And we would do those scavenger hunts. They'd be like, take a picture with a police officer. Yeah. Go take a picture at Kmart. You know, that kind of thing. I could say I'm doing a scavenger hunt and I have to take a selfie with the most interesting person that I ran across in the day. And then she'd be so flattered by that. She'd be like, okay. That's how she would probably say it. That's exactly how she would say Um, it. Sorry. I just went off on a tangent. I like it. I'm sorry that you don't work in an office and you don't run into weird people like I this. I don't get to run into weird people. <laughs> my my interactions are usually on the road where I'm screaming at an idiot in front of me. Right. Speaking of death. Ooh, death. Uh, my plant's dying. Yeah, duh. Well, that's not good. No, it's very bad. What's wrong with you? Because I told you all the story about Dan spending so much time. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, there's a leaf that's yellow. And I downloaded an app that's supposed to diagnose plants right. with whatever they have and what they need. And I took a picture. So I found out that it's an elephant ear plant. So if you're listening. Oh, cute. Right. If you're listening and you know anything about elephant elephant ear plants, you can DM me and tell me what to do. Anyway, there, there's baby leaves forming on the bottom. Okay. So it's, ha- it's like multiplying. Those baby leaves are not healthy. The that's babies so are not healthy. The one is oh was was turning yellow and today was all the way yellow. Where I love yellow, it was yellow and kind of wilty. It's, it was sad, so I I researched it and it and it in fact is a dead leaf and you can cut it off. Sometimes you can't cut it off, so I cut it off. And but that was after the fact that Dan, who bought the plant, walked by and said, "Angie, your plant is already dying. It's been a week, but I'm not doing anything." That's probably the problem. No, 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 no. Do you talk to no, it? No, 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 no. Do you talk M- to it? It's by the TV, so it gets talked to What's all the time. What's it watching? It might not like it. Uh, Tiny House Nation. Yeah, it's not going to like Tiny House Nation. You need to put tree stuff on. Tree porn. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try to find something yeah. with nature tomorrow. Google tree porn <laughs> on your office computer. <laughs> You're going to Google that. And it's just going to be like people having sex in the woods. That's what it's going to be. Probably. I don't think I should pull that up on my TV. I don't think probably they would. Probably not. Okay. No, it would probably be a bad idea. Well, uh, so th- Marsha, a crazy plant lady, she said just water them. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> water it once a week on Thirsty Thursdays. That's what she said. So I did. But maybe I gave it too much water because it can yeah, be too Yeah, you, can, over, you yeah. can overfeed these things. So I'm going to... Slack off on the water. I'm going to feel the, the the soil tomorrow's Thirsty Thursday and see if it's moist. You if just it's toss moist, some miracle well, grow in there? I'm going to get some food for it. And I also read 
where you need to kind of create a humid, envi- humid, humidity, like a humid environment. Well, my office isn't humid. It's freezing. That's probably why. That doesn't help. So I, I, it, you have to, I have a mister. I have a, I have a, I have a spray bottle. I'm spraying the leaves, but I might need a humidifier. Now, when I tell Dan this, that he needs to buy me a humidifier for the $850 worth of plants he bought, he probably will say it's coming out of your paycheck. But anyway, that's that. Speaking of debt. So I'm, I, the, the plant's already dying. Well, I was hoping for something better than that. In sorry. The story of I know. When I said speaking of death, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's going to be good. I'm sorry. I, I, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, I do. You know what? I don't know where. I don't know where. There it is. Never mind. I see it. Wow. Did you lose your brain for a second? I did. What did you lose? I'm losing my mind is what I'm losing. Why? What is going on with you? Because when I'm working from home and I'm eating my lunch, I always kick on something, right? On the TV. Okay. Sit down and I eat. That remote, where was it? Did you find it? No. I haven't touched it. That was not there. Well, I mean. I took the couch apart. I know. My my cushion was on. I looked under the couch. I even looked in the bed and under the bed just in case I took it to bed with me last night. Mm Mm-hmm. I haven't touched that remote. It was not there. I well, looked under everything. You know, Nate did make a music video in the cemetery the other day. I am losing my mind. No, you are. Maybe somebody put it there. Not cool. Well, I'm, is it going to happen? You're really perplexed right now. I am because I looked everywhere for it, and that was just however many hours ago. And I'd use my phone to work the Apple TV. Oh, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. Technology, baby. That's weird. Either you ever looked it or it just showed up out of nowhere. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Nate came in here. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, you know, anyway, you know what know. I did today? This is a funny story. Um, so for the longest time since May, when I was working at this law firm since May, there's only been one other, <coughs> excuse me, girl. Tickle fest. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Oh, well, uh. Hacking. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's really, really bad. Anyway, it was just me. <coughs> it's it's attacking me. Whatever brought the remote back. Yeah, it's got you. The spirit. The spirits. <coughs> Should have saged ah. and rubbed that soap on you. Anyway, it's been me and another girl. And, you know, there hasn't been one time we've been, been in the bathroom at the same time. It's odd. Um... That is odd. But I think it's because I always made it a habit of turning the light off when I left, right? Today I go in the bathroom, and I heard somebody else come in, which kind of took me by surprise because, again, it's the first time two people have ever been in that bathroom. (coughs) Anyway, so I wash my hands. Somebody else is in the other stall, and I go out, and I turn the light off. No. And I have it, and I heard the lady go, uh... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> As the door was shutting on, I, I was like, oh my gosh, Elena, I'm so sorry. It was just habit. Right. I just, I, I, that's pretty funny. That is funny. I don't know what's happening. I think we might have to turn this off. I have a really bad tip. Well, we're, we're good. We're, okay. we're done. So That was my ending story. We'll stuff. That, that was the ending story. We're going to hope you make it through this. Right this was fun. Goodbye. <laughs>